Hi, welcome to episode 31 of my Extreme Desert playthrough. I am Iken and today we're going to get closer to the stars. I'm going to work through the research I want to pick up for the next few episodes and I'm going to expand this little base a little bit more. I'm going to earn some money and search for more steel because we're really starving and hungry for steel. If you like this series, drop this channel a little subscription and you won't miss any future content. So I'm thinking about which technologies to pick up. With royalty, we have options available which were not there before in the standard vanilla environment. Bionic replacements is the next thing. I felt like, well, I want to have it. Producing my own bionics? Hell yeah. That's something I definitely want to have. Also, I'm now having the fabrication bench, so we're producing our own components at this point. The only thing lacking right now is uh, just the steel. But I have a long range mineral scanner and a ground penetrating scanner, so the only things left to do would be to force those peeps to work on their on the on the den on the benches here. So I'm going to um, do it like this, force Jane to work on that spot here, because Jane is pretty good when it comes down to uh, research, and yeah, 100% uh, user um, scanning speed, so that's um, as fast as we can go. But sadly, I have to monitor um, Jane a little bit more closely while I'm doing things like these because that's no natural behavior of them. <laughs> They're not doing this usually, so when she goes too hungry, I need to snap her out of that procedure. And uh, recreation is quite bad too. So let's uh, give her a moment to snap out of it. Also, I researched moisture pumps during the last, um, between this episode and the last one, so it's time to uh, get rid of those spots here but right now I'm not having the steel necessary for that so that gave me 8% towards my next guaranteed find so let's uh, force Jane for some more scanning work I mean it's not really very exciting to uh, force your colonists to work on those scanners but well, what can I do possibly should do some should install some quality of life mod which uh, enables me to configure my work bar a little bit more detailed because they are very very useful mods which can allow you to configure something like working on the scanners more closely because right now I have no control about giving an order out to my people to work there sadly but apart from that, I'm completely out of steel here. It's making me a little bit uh, unhappy, to say the least. But the cocoa harvest is in, and we're now we're now good when it comes down to food. That's awesome. I decided to rob this place of its last few minerals because it's awesome to have more minerals. There was some uh, scapolite deposit down here on the ground. Can't wait for the next update of RimWorld, which will uh, give us the ability to see what's beneath the ground in the deposit at any time. Nowadays, that's a little bit of pain. So I'm taking all the gems now, just uh, stripping this area of all its uh, minerals with this lot with these last few uh, jobs but well sunstone beautiful stuff mm, what a nice red tone all right we're having some more donkey on the way pugs we're getting some what the oh my god um, dog leather and Good lord, get away from me. Don't want to feed us this amount of uh, dogs here. Certainly not. All right. Fighting a fortune. So what's that? 
people of Witterus want us to save one of their caravans. We will be attacked by drifters, grenadiers, gunners, snipers, more gunners, and healer max serum. All right, guys, bring it. <laughs> we need to fight this. I don't hesitate a second there. This, this is what Flays was waiting for. I knew the day would come. So we're going into position here. Um, wait a second, how long it'll take? <laughs> Just uh, arrive in 1.5 days, so chill down a bit. I feel like we should be able to fight that quite well. I mean, those guys don't have any uh, other options. They have to walk into their fate. But what I want to do is bring up some traps. I have an insane amount of tarnakite blocks and spike traps are quite effective and cost efficient. So let's drop a few here and there. There we go. And just hope Jack, uh, Jack food. No, Flaze is the soul constructor now. Do I really want Flaze as the soul constructor? Nah. Come on. There's work to do. Because Flaze is uh, quite talented and he has a very high construction value, but, um, well, what's uh, his manipulation score now? 40%. That's the that, that's the issue about it. He's also working damn slow. He's not only moving slow. He's also walk. Oh. All right, so we're getting raided by mechanoids, and uh, Jane is right in the, right in the middle of it. Oh boy. Okay, so I'm going to micromanage Jane to begin with, and pray to God that I'm able to get her out of there before. Uh, she's in trouble. All right, so never mind. Four point seven cells on the Scyther, three point three on Jane. Good lord, this is bad. Oh gosh. So the rest of them guys is uh, in the middle of my base. Okay. So looks like I have to. Uh... Jane has animals to release. Okay. I think standing and fighting is uh, better than uh, trying to um, run away from something you can't run away from. So there we go. This will go very, very bad for Jane. I mean, she's uh, quite well armored. Sure, but being out there with this amount of scythers in your oh gosh, it's uh, getting worse. It's going from bad to worse. So Jane is pretty much on her own. I'm pretty uh, sure she's going to get down there. Okay. The Royal Tribute Collectors are at least uh, keeping um, the mechanoids in my base at bay. Something good. Alright, Flaze is downed. Not too surprised about that one, honestly. Ah, finally there's Amanda. Okay, so... Uh, Alright, finally first uh, Scyther down. Okay, now then, what about Jane? Just lost her nose, almost, uh, okay. So, um, it's uh, quite a pity about the nose, but apart from that, boy, we're, we got lucky about this one. So, uh...
Okay, Manda is quite roughed up, but uh, okay. So this could have been way worse. <laughs> Consuming simple meal. I love that. When your guys are looking like they're going to save each other, but in, in fact they're just after your buddy's meal. <laughs> Leave me alone. Me just hungry. Okay. So. Amanda is now carrying a mechanoid there. What's what's wrong with you, Amanda? Okay. Well, I'm going to monitor this one, but honestly, I don't feel like it's a wise choice to have it like that. So we lost a few turrets. Nothing unusual about that. Well, losing a few turrets is uh, a nice figure of speech almost lost all of them all right so coyote you're incapable of doing medical work Acevedo, you're you're please uh, patching up flays and uh jack boot is already care um rescuing jane okay so amanda was the one I was concerned about. Good thing that I have a attack incoming in a few more uh, hours. So is Carol able to do medical work? Yes, she is. So Amanda, you have a way more important job and that's to lay down on a medical bed. There we go. And Carol, you're going to patch her up. Because uh, this is something I don't want to uh, leave unmonitored. Oh gosh. That poor donkey. So does Amanda have that amount of time? Yeah, she does. So, all right. Let's see if uh, Lucy is able to care about care for Nichols too. But I might lose that donkey, or not. Okay. So, uh, Jane is bleeding a little bit. Consuming fine meal, that's ah, very important. Okay, I get it. So Amanda is sort uh, of patched up. Nichols is going to survive another day too. Okay, so let's uh, patch up Jane too. Wow, that uh, marine armor really uh, did a great job here. I didn't think that marine armor would tank so hard. Okay, so who's up on this uh, feed for the next fight? Acevedo, Carol, Lucy, Coyote. Oh boy, so uh, Jane and Amanda are down for the next time. Jane and Amanda get the industrial tech medicine. And okay, Acevedo already got that one. But uh, well, gotta prefer the treatment here of that infection first. There we go. Do I have enough medicine? 22 units, but I also have Glid World meds if necessary, so yeah. We are okay here. Um, Flays, where's your rifle? Somewhere out there. So, can't wait for the next fight. I hope we're surviving it quite well, and uh, 
I'm going to be able to cure flays today. What's wrong with you, Jane? You you should be lying in the bed. Jane, bed rest one, doctoring one. Okay, but sometimes they just have to do that. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, Jane's uh, pretty in a pretty bad spot right now. Wait a sec. Isn't Amanda having the infection here? Oh gosh. Oh boy, I love it when that happens. So we're having a fight coming up and everybody one going is going trying to go nuts. Okay, here we go. Let's uh, release her right away. Okay. And take that spear. Okay. Jane needs that rifle again because uh, we're going to get attacked quite soon. Or never mind. Jane's not going anywhere. She's the one in trouble. No. Yeah. Well. Okay. I'm going to disable self tending her on her again, but uh. you're not going to treat other people i really need to turn the uh, doctoring down that's the source of the problem there so well she'll catch up okay so ugh. We're going to bring Flay's Jackboot, Caro, Lucy, Acevedo, and Coyote. All right. So they're going to siege us. Oh man. So you guys are going to siege me. Hell no. There's two ways we can do this now. There's either the orbital bombardment targeter or going for uh, the good old fashioned way. But looking at them having snipers as well, three of them actually, hell no. You guys are going to get the royal treatment. So, going to get uh, let Lucy do this job. So this is uh, one of the easiest ways to uh, solve your uh, your problems in general. I love using those. Personally, I feel like they're just spawning not often enough. So my friends, you're thinking you're going to bomb to siege me, hey? So let's see what we have here. Got a little present for you. So, yeah, that's good. So, um, yeah. That's a bit much. I don't know. But I enjoy every single second of it. Because we're going to get, um, a... Okay, we get two similar sized groups followed soon after. Um, I just hope they're not going to come for with sieges as well, but uh, it just feels so good to win your fights like that, honestly. And, uh, alright, so... More... More Mordors, alright, so, gosh, alright. That would be three sieges in a row? Wow, what have I done? We unleashed hell on our colony. So uh, this is, uh, as a matter of fact, quite horrible. 
but I'm going to tank it. There's um, no chance that we're going to um, get that fight into a victory when I'm trying to uh, rush them there. Gotta wait until they attack me. This is where I'm going to win the fight. We're just going to uh, hope that the mortar ring won't uh, kill everybody. It's always a little bit of a, uh, of a uh, gamble there. So... There we go. Wow, they got the batteries. What a nice shot. So, these guys will at least, uh, that's Acevedo's mum there. Um, wow, Coyote is really having the big balls here. Alright, so, okay, Lucy got hit by a mortar shell. Nice. Not nice. So, uh, definitely going to use uh, Glid World Meds and. Um, wow. That's quite unlucky. Guess they took their revenge for this one. So, let's see if Lucy's going to survive that one. Not too sure about this. Luckily, I researched bionics lately, so rest in peace, Lucy. I tried my best here. I assumed that what might happen. Okay, so time to uh, get up a fight here. Amanda needs her treatment. Well... So let's um No. Gotta wait until they attack. Just realized that it would be damn stupid to uh just attack them right away. Um Amanda, you're not supposed to firefight either. All right, so Amanda is, uh, Amanda and Jane are getting past that. Let's just uh... okay. Seems like our enemies are now on the attack. So it's time to get my last few fighters up and see if we can save the day. Because things might be uh, looking quite bad at the moment, but maybe we're going to win that. Who knows? Wow, they mortared my uh, defenses here. That's rotten. Alright. So... Get Coyote on the barricades here. Okay. So far, so good. Nobody from my people is, uh. Oh gosh. Yeah, sure. Just when I was, uh, when I went happy about the outcome there, they straight up mortared my people here. But we're having our first victory here. Amanda is having an extreme infection. Okay. Yeah, well, well, well. Um, I, th 
think I have uh, other problems right now. So I'm I'm okay with uh with undrafting my peeps right now. So we win the we won the first round. Next round will come. So uh, let's check out the wounds. Uh, nobody's actually bleeding. Nice. Biocoded chain shotgun. What a pity. Molotov cocktails. LMGs. Um, Chantal. So, uh, I don't know. As far as I'm seeing it, Amanda will, uh, get her immunity 100, 100% in time and everything will be fine. So, we got that. Awesome. Seriously? We're getting mech hived now? Wow, that's so friggin' unfortunate. What are the chances? Jeez. What are the actual chances of that happening in such short matter of time? Like, um, the last mat. Wait a sec. That's just uh. This was the uh the last uh mech hive, and I'm getting another mech hive in that tiny portion of time. Wow. And that's Cassandra for you. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the end of the series. <laughs> but uh, let's see. That's uh. Beyond fair. I don't know why that happens, but okay. Seriously, I'm 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 beyond uh, baffled. This uh, feels like worst case scenario here. Oh, of course, getting a shell into my uh, warehouse, of course, as well. Okay. So what do we have here? A ton of uh, pikemen. Really, really bad nasties. Okay. <laughs> There's still that siege around the corner. <laughs> oh man, we're in so deep trouble here. This is uh, for sure one of the worst situations I've ever been. So, definitely want to go d go for the Lancer first. Play, playing harpsichord, Jackboot. I really doubt your your abilities. <laughs> Last time he tries to grab uh, his uh, his buddy's meal, and now ah he's not able to firefight. That's why he's tr doing such tragically stupid things. Okay, so uh, yeah, I gotta accept that my warehouse burns for now. I hate that, but. Uh, can't change that. Please get rid of that thing. Okay, so uh, first turn we win. Flaze is on the run. So I really should have used the um, what's it called? Rip Acevedo. Well, these are the fights where you're almost. Uh, 100% certainly lose people, so... I hate these uh, straight-out shootouts with uh, with mechanoids. They're just such horrible situations. So... Okay. So there's Chantal, but apart from that, we are alive. So, um, Jackboot is dying in 8 hours, Caro is fine, Coyote is dying in 13 hours, okay. So, let's see if we can, what we can salvage out of that. Almost nothing, I'd say. Beating that fire out is so damn important at that point. Because if I uh, if that fire takes this house, we might as well just uh, kill uh, kill ourselves. Because there's so many important things in there. So 
going to use uh, Caro for now because I feel like she's uh, going to be able to save Jack Boots' life at least. Okay. That second uh, Mech Hive uh, attack was uh, nutty. Gotta, gotta say. So Flaze is downed again. And... Gosh. So... Alright, I'm going to uh, bring Jane to that job. Okay, that, that thing doesn't burn anymore. At least something. Okay. So... Could take care of this uh, good friend here. Um... Okay, Carol went catatonic. Um... Okay, uh, Coyote, stop beating fire out. Coyote, lie down and get treated. Best thing I can do right now. Amanda, well... Assuming that this uh, meal is important. You're going to tend to Coyote. Um, why is there still a indoor temperature of 90 degree in there after there's still that? Uh, that's why. So, good old open door trick. Okay. So Jane was supposed to tend to Jackboot. Alright, temperature is lowering again. Okay. Seriously? When I use mortars, I rarely hit. Well, okay, these guys are just uh, shooting for days here. Guess that's uh, helping a lot. So. Can somebody please extinguish Am Amanda? Thanks. And uh, so Jackboot is now going to die because Jane, for some reason, decided to screw that job I gave her and just die. And Amanda now took the bed for Coyote. Oh man, this micromanagement just... Uh, it's, uh, it's too much for me sometimes. So let's hope I don't lose Jackboot because of the stupidity of my... Uh, of my peeps here. Oh, God bless. I hated when such uh, deaths happen, honestly, because they feel like uh, so unfair to me, because I'm trying to do my best here, but uh, the stupidity of those guys is just uh, groundbreaking. So, my enemies are still uh, up and running. I'm quite happy that I uh, used the nuke on those guys when they started their siege because I feel like if I didn't things could have been way worse so if anything if we're going to if we're going to die I want Flays at least ha um, to die happy oh man come on Flays you can't eat get yourself together man Rescue Flays. So, no more Healer Max Serum for him. Because, um... Uh, he's now wounded. <laughs> and there's always a risk that your Healer Max Serum just, um... Uh, just heals a wound uselessly. So, before these... Uh... Oh, he was burned anyways? Okay, so maybe... 
maybe that wasn't uh, smart at all, at all. But at the same time, oh no, come on, give me a break. Give me a break, guys. Like, seriously, give me a break. Still don't know how to beat those guys sieging me down there. Yeah, who doesn't want another infection? You get an infection. You get an infection. Everybody gets an infection. <laughs> so. Let's, uh. They're getting new ammunitions every day? Come on. You kidding me? So. Almost nobody is up anymore. Like, almost everybody who's up is having infections. We're really, really screwed here. In a larger scale than I ever thought it would be happening. But well. <laughs> hey, Donkey has given birth. Awesome! <laughs> Starvation on Coyote and Caro. So... I don't understand. Most of the time those guys just attack at some point. It never happened to me that they siege such a long time on me. But uh well. Doesn't look good for for this colony to be to be quite honest. But at the same time, well, Caro needs a treatment now. But most importantly, she needs to get fed. And Amanda, she doesn't need to need treatments at all. So we're we're just we just should take care of Carol getting fed here. So. Yay, tantrum. <laughs> this is so bad. This is just so horribly bad. And Coyote went catatonic. It's just uh, so horrible that this is one of those situations where you're at some point just unable to defend yourself. Because I can't attack those guys anymore. Oh uh, yeah, now they're nuking down my defenses, of course. But I can't change that. I'm so far beyond everything. And these guys just seem to get new ammunitions every day. Like, uh, I don't know. Normally they just attack me at some point. Like I said, never happened to me in that degree. It's completely uh, unprecedented. But honestly, the biggest problem here was uh, to begin with um, the double raid from the mechanoids beforehand like i would have been even able to attack those guys if uh i wouldn't been um raided two times for, by the mechanoids beforehand so uh that really gave me um gave me just uh the downs but well i don't know um The real question here keeps for me, what am I supposed to do with this? Arr, please, you stupid. Arr. I mean, these guys are obviously uh, really um, trying their best to just kill themselves. I think I just saved fla um, his life. But at the same time, he's just dying from that infection, isn't he? No, he's actually not. So... Well, the temperature is dropping uh, there, so... Ultimately, I think Flays should be fine, but... I don't know, will these guys ever stop? Will they ever attack my base, or just, are they just uh, going to fire at me until we're all dead? 
So, I mean, if they're going to wait a little bit longer, one thing's for sure, I'm going to be able to fight back because we're healed up at some point. <sighs> Is this seriously happening? <laughs> seriously. At this point, I just want to die. Because I don't even know anymore how to, fa uh, how to do anything. Because, uh, seriously, what am I supposed to do? I can't fight anymore. I just flat out can't fight anymore. I have nobody uh, up and running who's uh, strong enough to do anything anymore. Um, these guys, guys just keep mortaring. Oh, well, no. Now we're screwed anyways, so... I guess, my friends, I'm going to end this run at this point. Because I don't feel like I'm able to do anything apart from surrendering for the time being. Maybe I'm going to revisit this uh, colony at some point. But, yeah, well... I don't know, the situation just... Uh, be well, we're, we're going to give it another uh, go during the next episode, but there's a high chance that we're just going to die during the next episode, because right now, um, I mean, what am I supposed to do out of that? The last mortar shot finally did what I uh, expected to happen at some point, that this uh, monument will finally get destroyed. Um, my defenses are surprisingly intact, didn't expect that, but now we're having, uh, yeah, they're, they just keep mortaring us, and uh, I don't know what to do about that. I mean, the good thing now seems to be that the mechanoids have arrived, but there's uh, some tr kind of trouble um, with that, too. Um, so let's see one more straw to grasp at maybe these guys have some orbital strike weapon to for sale i mean maybe they do you never know they have nothing for me which is able which is able to save me yeah well so let's die at least rich and the last thing I'm going to do before I let this uh, episode end is uh, I'm going to wait what will happen. So yeah, those guys just uh, keep motoring and they just keep uh, getting resupplied and uh, well, what's... Uh, Finally, they're attacking the colony, so, uh... Now they're activating the, uh, mechanoids? Well... Let's see. Maybe it was, uh, quite good, after all, for me, that, um, this happened. So let's not give up yet. Alright, so those uh, radars are wa uh, way stronger than I had anticipated. So, wait a sec. Only can take people who are not uh, suffering from infections in that fight. Yeah, that's uh, those glorious three here. Just want to participate at, uh, with this fight while it's still good. Because this is one of those fights which will uh, go bad, ultimately. So, uh... Can somebody please tell me where this woman's rifle's at? Oh, yeah. I know. It was back there. <laughs> so... Okay. Jane's uh, good for nothing. Great. Because I didn't realize she wasn't... Uh, But Jackboot at least has his gun, right? Right, okay. Okay, so Amanda is uh, only catching bullets here. So the only use she has here. Okay. So, um... Let's undraft everybody. And, uh... Okay, well... 
still got to deal with, uh, what, two centipedes? Three centipedes? And the leftovers of this uh, incident here. But, well, we're going to cut it here, 45 minutes in. Wow, what an episode. How much blood, death, and gore. Um, well, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.